What's up guys, my name is the Technical Potato and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Pokemon Moon on your PC. So first of all you want to go to the link in the description and click on the link next to the word Citra and it will bring you over to this uh, page um, and you'll see two builds, Nightly Build and Bleeding Edge Build. You want to go to the latest Nightly Build and uh, click one of these, so if you have Linux you click the Penguin, if you have uh, Apple computer or laptop you click the Apple logo, Windows uh, Windows logo and uh, if you want to download from GitHub you want to download it from the GitHub icon here. I'm have, I have Windows so I'm just going to click on Windows and it will start downloading. Uh, I already have it so I'm not going to download it so I'm just going to cancel that. Now you want to go to the second link which will be next to Pokemon Moon and then click it, it's a media file link, it will bring you to this page you just want to press download and it will download the um, ROM for Pokemon Moon it may take some time, it is a large file uh, so yeah, uh, it depends on your internet connection obviously so once you've done that, you want to go to wherever it's uh, been downloaded to I have it here on my desktop um, and you want to open the Citra uh, RAR file if you do not have uh, WinRAR or any RAR opening file uh, application I'll leave a link in the description for WinRAR so once you've opened it up in WinRAR you're going to click extract to and I'm just going to do it on my desktop create a new folder, press ok and it will extract all the four files to your uh, desktop and if you want you can also put the ROM inside there so as you can see uh, I have all these files and the ROM so what you want to do is open Citra Qt and um, if you want your game to show up like this all you have to do is go to file uh, select game directory and select the folder which is tin so just click select folder uh, and it will show up like this every time you open it up uh, so I'm just gonna uh, turn off the sound uh, for copyright reasons and also because uh, it will be hard to hear me but anyway let's uh, uh, get into the game alright uh, so this is how it looks uh, if you want to be in 1080p you just want to go to configure uh, go to graphics and change this uh, to 4 times and it will be 1080p as you can see the picture quality is much better it is a little laggier um, and the reason for that is that I don't have the best computer but if you have uh, like a good computer with like a good graphics card it should be able to easily handle this game uh, so yeah let's go and get right into a battle there should be a battle over here uh, I'm just gonna skip to the battle because it's a, a little bit of dialogue take some time so I'm just gonna skip over to the Alright the, the Pokemon battle is going to start um, it is a little laggy um, but if you have a better computer it should run like normal like you're playing it on a 3DS but anyway um, let's start the battle and I will show you guys how to configure uh, the controls and everything after the battle you know, I just want to show you guys how uh, it looks like and to show you guys what you're getting um, it will run faster if you keep the graphics lower if you if you want to play uh, if you don't have the best computer um, if you have like if you can put the graphics lower this is in 1080p so it's a little bit more laggier uh, and also I'm playing on a laptop so yeah uh, so this bottom part is like touchscreen so you can just click on it um, so uh, we're gonna use Ember be super effective um, if you want I'm gonna show you guys uh, what it looks like um, if you lower the graphics down let's go here uh, we'll put it uh, to native 240p so as you can see it doesn't look that bad it's just like uh, like blurish kind of 
so I like that um, HD it's, it's like not that high resolution it's like small resolution um, and you do get a little bit uh, better FPS I'm not getting that much FPS um, I have 13 FPS but uh, as again I do not have a really good computer so yeah so that's the battle it's not so bad um, it is quite playable it's not like it's super laggy that you can't play it um, so yeah um, so now I'm going to show you guys how to configure it uh, so the general system not very important here you can change um, like your information like your birth date and all that um, here is the control so as you can see the A button I put A and the B button is S these are all default so if you want to change this, you just need to click on it and press the key. I'm just going to keep it as A. And here is the graphics. I advise you not to mess around with these. Uh, but if you want, you can lower or uh, higher, like, you know, make or have better, like, graphics, like, maybe nine times. Obviously, that will be extremely slow um, if you have, like, a really bad computer. I advise keeping it at 1080p highest. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and also you can change uh, the way the screen is so you can have large screen so you will have this large screen and the touch screen will be small uh, you can also have um, single screen so that will be just like uh, one big screen you won't have the other screen and you can also have what I had in the beginning the default uh, so it will just be two screens one above the another one above the other um, and you can also configure the audio I'm not gonna put it on uh, but uh, you can just put it on auto if you want audio um, and yeah that's basically all um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like subscribe and thank you for watching this is the technical potato signing out